just wanted to take a second and show the car some love. Dang, 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 dang. Now it's time for Ralph's kitchen. <laughs> I'll show you how to make some brownies. <laughs> Whoa. That's fancy. Thank you. <laughs> hey, is that your friend? to take a second and show the car some love. It's adorable. Oh, I'm driving? Yeah, you're driving. Oh, thank you. Good girl. Happy Thursday. Shut up. Happy Thursday. It's time for Lou to go to work. We got so my sippy exciting. cup. My boss calls it a sippy cup too. It's an it. adult sippy cup. Look at it. Isn't that so, I mean, we're still, we're still. We still can't get over this. So good. Me. That's a bad sign, you haven't even started yet. I know. Dang, 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 dang. Bye everybody. Have a good day. <laughs> Grab this day by the balls. That was supposed to be like motivational. <laughs> Just to leave that. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Dang, dang, dang. All right, guys, I am going to head over to the cafe and try and get some more work done. It's been a good day so far. It's been really productive this morning. I'm feeling pretty good lately, and it, that's encouraging. I'm hoping to try and get more work in every day because I've only really been doing a couple, you know, like, three hours a day on a good day and that's just not enough and it, it doesn't feel good either to to feel like I should be doing more but I, I feel you know with all with the some of the residual symptoms from the concussion it's just like it can be tough to get in a, in a day's work but I, I'm feeling pretty good the last few days I think the physio has helped I think the exercise has helped I think uh, all those other things I was telling you guys about in that other video have been helping and I'm I'm feeling positive and it's a good week. I'm gonna go to the cafe, I'm gonna get some more work done and then that, I don't know what then. <laughs> Honey, come get your wine. Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Sometimes I make funny Snapchats. I probably look like an idiot on the other side of it. So guys, who's home from work? I made a delicious, yo, <laughs> I'm vlogging here. It was just funny. Jim sent me a Snapchat and Andrew sent me a Snapchat with the exact same filter doing the exact same thing. <laughs> what? Lou's home from work. I made a delicious uh, sweet potato shepherd's pie. Sweet, what is it? Sweet potato shepherd's pie. Yeah, yeah you that's, can say that's, it, that's, yeah. That, that's all it is. Ooh, baby. You know that was something special. Baby boy, you want my treasure. I know we got it. And now I'm gonna make those brownies that you guys all want the recipe for. I thought we could post all these recipes from that we've been making this week that people have been asking about on our Facebook page so that it's like, there's the link. Oh. And then maybe we'll do like, we'll show. Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna put all the recipes that you guys have asked for this week on our Facebook page. So go to facebook.com slash Ralph and Lou and I'll post all of the, all of the, uh, most of them are from Whole30. Right? Is that right, honey? The wino? Yeah, all of the dinners that we've been trying lately. Whole 30, which is basically a paleo diet thing. I don't know. So go check out the Facebook page. I'm gonna make some brownies. You, you, are you putting that on me right now? Look at <laughs> how low it is. Wow, it's like adjust that. Thug Kitchen. There you go, hon. Wow, okay, this is great. <laughs> Do you love it? I love it so much. Now it's time for Ralph's kitchen.
Gonna show you how to make some brownies. <laughs> Let's get your titties up. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we're doing this. Super simple brownie recipe. Coconut flour, boom, let's go. Half a cup of coconut flour, minus two tablespoons. Half a cup of cocoa. Half a cup of maple syrup. Three eggs lightly beaten. Half a cup of butter plus two tablespoons. I also have these nuts that I like. Oh, vanilla. You want like that much teaspoon. Oh, that's probably more, oh well. Stir it up. Just gonna put these in my pocket here. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees and slap that shit in the pan. Oh. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees and slap your brownie stuff in a pan. Wow, look at how good I did. Yes. Spread in the brownies. All right. We have brownies right in the oven. on the camera. I wasn't filming. Yay! Yeah. So normally when we make these brownies, Lou also makes um, uh, an icing, a topping, a what do you call it? Yeah, like an icing. Icing. But we don't have all the ingredients for it right now, so I'm just going to tell you how to make that. It's really good, especially if you put them in the fridge, let it cool a little bit after you pull your brownies out of the oven. So what you need is equal parts coconut oil, cocoa, maple syrup, and that's it, right? Yeah. Three I ingredients. I usually just do like three tablespoons of everything. Two or three tablespoons of everything, put it in a bowl, melt it, mix it, spread it on top of those brownies when they come out of the oven, throw it in the fridge, let them cool, boom, delicious. So good. I failed to mention how long you actually put the brownies in the oven for. Eight minutes. Uh, yes, I don't know actually. To fifteen. Eight to ten minutes. Fair. And then and then possibly another five <laughs> after the initial eight to ten. I'm gonna put a link in the description for the recipe. Whoa. That's fancy. Whoa. <laughs> Looks like the Taj Mahal. Lou's practicing her piping. Uh I got her a little piping set for Christmas. Lighting in here blows. I got her a little piping set at Christmas. It's got like all these different tips. So she's just like checking them out, trying them out. But I think I might've got her a smaller one. Well, no, like this is one I've used before for decorating cupcakes. And these ones are smaller as you uh, can yeah, tell. Yeah, but that's what I mean. But... Like, are you gonna, I hope you can still use them. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Mmm. Is that a cream cheese icing? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I just got tired all of a sudden. You know, I think both of us spent the majority of our day in the kitchen. You know I work in the kitchen, right? I know. I'm not comparing, oh. I'm just oh. saying. No, I meant I usually spent the majority I know. of my day in the I know. kitchen. Definitely, I came home, yeah, even before I went to work, I was decorating. I was baking cupcakes, and then you made all of dinner, and then I, Ralph made delicious brownies, and then I made, I decorated my cupcakes. Did you explain what they're for or no? No, um, a co-worker asked me if I could make cupcakes for her son's birthday. And I said yes. <laughs> Even though I'm working seven days in a row, I don't... I can't say no to this that schedule is kind of crazy right now. But it works out that I'm like off in the mornings-ish these last two days, so I was able to make them and yeah. It's been a crazy week. Lou's working a lot. Yeah, Saturday, and Sunday. It's the weekend, so. That means nothing to me. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, don't forget, guys, you can check out that brownie link in the description. I'm gonna put all of the recipes that we've been working on this week on our Facebook mm -hmm. page, ralphandlou.com slash Facebook. You can find that link in the description too. Just because like a bunch of people were asking about some of the recipes that we were using. They're not our recipes, they're from the Whole30 diet thing. Yeah, most of them are, yeah. Uh, Lou found them. 
and we've all we've really enjoyed them so yeah we're only gonna we only share the ones that like the recipes we only share the recipes that we that really we enjoy. legitimately enjoy yeah so yeah. these ones were all like really really good mm-hmm yeah so thanks for watching guys have a great weekend we'll see you on monday with the weekend vlog we've got some fun things planned so we'll see you next week Thank you.